Chromebook, Apple, Windows, Linux, well, you can cross at least two of your list because Chromebooks, well, no DJ software supports that. And that's the same for Linux. Literally no DJ software supports that, don't, so don't think about it. The exception, I believe, for Linux is Mix with three axes. But other than that, it's back to either the PC or a Mac. Generally speaking, Macs are easier to use if they work. And that is exactly a little bit the catch because Apple doesn't care as much about quality as they would like you to believe. Uh, I had uh, two dead iPhones on arrival. Uh, Apple refused to fix them. Uh, I had also a dead Mac on arrival. Apple refused to fix it. And I had an iPhone 6 with the famous battery problem and the microphone didn't work anymore. That is really handy when you want to call someone. Um, in the warranty period and Apple refused to fix it. Needless to say, I'm not a big Apple fan anymore. Generally speaking, PCs are easier to repair, easier to upgrade and are cheaper on top of that. When you want to buy a Mac, make sure that you spec it out to the Macs because you can't upgrade later. And yes, you will pay that famous Apple tax on that. Both Mac and PC offer a full feature set for DJs. So in that regard, it's up to your personal preference. When you choose Windows, make sure that you have Windows Home or Windows Pro. The Pro has some extra network features, uh, which you in a DJ situation probably won't use. There's also an S version of Windows, which stands for secure, um, which you can only use to download apps from the Windows App Store. You can technically switch it off, but it can lead some sometimes to problems. So uh, stay away from that version. Hi, I'm Dexter from the Netherlands. I'm a software engineer by trade. I'm also a DJ for the biggest part of my life. And on top of that, I help out regularly at the local computer store when they have staff, staff shortages. So I might know a thing about selling computers and repairing computers. Then let's first talk about the CPU or the central processing unit, the processor. And the processor is together with RAM and storage, one of those key components that determine the speed of your computer. In a lot of marketing material, they talk about core counts and the more counts you have, the faster your computer is and there are performance cores and there are efficiency cores to save battery life. But generally speaking with DJing, you don't take much uh, advantage of, 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 of more cores. Well, technically more cores is better because of speed. Um, when you have four cores about something like that, yeah, that's enough for DJing. Recommended processors, I would say an Intel Core 5, 5th generation or better, a Ryzen 7 or a uh, Ryzen 7 3000 or better, or an M1 or better. When you want to DJ with visuals or use videos in your gig with your laptop, I would say you need more than that. I would choose an i7 or a Core 7 for Intel or a Ryzen 7 of AMD. The M1, M2, M3, etc. That, that's all fine for the Apple side of things. Uh, those are powerful enough for video and generate visuals. Be aware that some software eats more CPU than other software. The biggest culprits are of course Recordbox and Serato, um, but also, yeah, I've written them down, uh, DJ Pro, Beatport DJ and Deduced. I will link an article in the description. In that article that's on my website, I have compared all the DJ software around uh, based on their CPU eatage. So you can see which software is faster and uh, for which software you need a bigger and heavier CPU. Then the RAM or memory, which determines how big of a chunk that your processor can load from the storage at once. And the less it has to load, so the bigger the chunk it can load at once, the less it has to load, the, so the faster your computer is. 8 gigabytes generally is enough for DJing, but I would say choose 16 gigabytes when you want to use Serato, when you want to use a video, when you want to use visuals and want to use the automatic stem separation on existing tracks. Make sure that you choose a laptop where you can actually expand memory later. A lot of Windows laptops have that by default, but for example, Mac laptops don't have that. So you need to choose more memory than you think that you need. A uh, rule of thumb is choose twice the memory that you think you need now, just to be future proof. 
Then the storage. The storage determines how much you can store on your computer. For us DJs, that means your DJ software, but especially your music. When you only use MP3 files, well, you don't need much storage. But when you use WAV files and AIFF files with a higher quality, yeah, then the storage tends to matter a lot more. 128 gigabytes is pretty tight with a lot of AIFF and WAV files. Um, in that case, I would say choose at least 256 gigabytes, but preferably 512 gigabytes. Then your graphics card. Your graphics card is responsible for the image on your monitor. A graphics card can take the load of your CPU to display graphics on your monitor. But it depends on your DJ software if and how much it takes advantage of that graphics card. When you use a lot of visuals or video for your DJ gig, I would say a graphics card matters a lot more than when you don't. Generally speaking, DJ software isn't that graphically intensive. Integrated graphics cards, which a lot of laptops have, don't have dedicated memory themselves for the graphics card. So what they do is they take your internal memory. But that means that you can't use that internal memory for other programs. So let's say a Serato, for example, needs 16 gigabytes, but you have to add, for example, four or six gigabytes extra for your graphics card. So you need at least 16 gigabytes internal memory plus six gigabytes of graphics memory. So I would say for Serato, choose 32 gigabytes of memory. And this is especially important when you can't upgrade your memory later, like is the case with all Apple laptops. When it comes to brands, Nvidia, AMD and Intel, those are the good boys. Uh, and you need at least four gigabytes of memory for your graphics cards for DJing. But when you want to use stem separation and generate visuals, then I would say choose at least six gigabytes of memory. And then cooling. Yeah, I hear nobody talk about this, but especially for DJs, it is incredibly important. The internal components of a laptop run very hard. In what environment do DJs use their laptop? In a club, which is very hot. To protect the hardware from overheating and thus breaking itself, manufacturers slow down the computer, but this can result in crackling audio. And you don't want that in a club. Or they shut down your laptop entirely and a lot of Apple laptops suffer from that. And after an emergency shutdown of a computer, you need to let it sit for a while before you can use it again. I don't think that's very preferable for a DJ gig. Some laptops are passively cooled. Active cooling means that there are spinning fans in your laptop. Passively cooled means that there aren't any spinning fans in your laptop. But passive cooling is not enough to keep your processor cool, especially not in a club. So go for active cooling instead of passive cooling. Especially Apple with their MacBook Air and the iPad has the tendency to make passively cooled laptops. But even Apple's actively cooled laptops often underperform due to bad thermal design generation on generation on generation and bad fan configuration the fans kick in too late. And that often results in warped, broken or melted motherboards. Like I said in the beginning, Apple doesn't care much about quality. Actively cooled laptops are always faster. The downside of an actively cooled laptop is the fan noise. But surprise, surprise, as a DJ with 107 decibels in a club, you won't hear that. The general rule of thumb for thermals is the smaller the laptop is, the worse the heat dissipation is, and the smaller the laptop, the more likely it is to have passive cooling. In other words, the smaller the laptop is, the quicker you will run into overheating issues. Then let's talk about displays and resolution. A lot of high resolution displays like the Apple Retina displays are nice to have, but a lot of DJ software doesn't even take advantage of that. The software that does are a Tractor, Recordbox, what was it? Virtual DJ and Serato. I would advise a 15 inch screen, but larger is preferred. 
The bigger the screen is, the more you can read comfortably. And yeah, you can increase the font size in a lot of DJ software, but that usually comes at expense of usability. I would advise a monitor with a resolution of at least 1820 by 720. Below this resolution, you will run into problems with buttons that fall off the display, which is very annoying. Then take the marketed battery life of your laptop with a pinch of salt. Well, no, a whole spoon of salt because you will never get that out of your laptop. Those things are tested in the most optimal circumstances with a brand new battery. You will never get that. And especially Apple is very optimistic with their battery life estimation. Then something really important for DJs. Keyboards, because clubs and festivals are often very dark places. It is very handy if you can see what you're doing. So choose a laptop with a backlit keyboard. Not all laptops have backlit keyboards, often only the more expensive ones. Also not unimportant for DJs, the sound. You need two outputs from your laptop. The first one is the master output, so the thing that your crowd hears, and the second output is for your headphones to beat match or to preview your songs. Make sure that you get those two outputs from either a DJ controller or an external sound card, because most laptops have only one audio output. Also make sure that you have the connection that your club or festival needs, and this is either RCA, XLR or mini jack. Also here, DJ controllers and external sound cards will help you. Then uh, just to be sure, make sure that your laptop has the same connection as your DJ controller. Because some laptops, like for example Apple laptops, only have USB-C connections. And most DJ controllers nowadays have a USB-AB connection. But when you have a more recent controller, the chance is that you also have a USB-C connection. If you run into trouble with that, um, there are some converter cables to help you out. Then let's talk about brands. I've written down a little list. My recommended brands are HP, Asus, Microsoft, Dell and Acer. The brands to avoid, I would say Lenovo, the Dell XPS because of known audio lag and stutter issues. And I wouldn't also recommend Apple. You might be interested in the specific models of brands that I would recommend. I will link an article in the description with a list of my recommended models. Problem is when I make a YouTube video about it, ranking a YouTube video takes three to six months. By the time you are able to find this video, the whole lineup is already changed and is already out of stock. That article I will update every single month. The link is in the description.